Hey guys, Run With Craft Scissors here with a Plan With Me collab. Um, we decided winter was going to be our theme. So the people, the other YouTubers that I'm collabing with are Sassy Stephanie, Planning With Amber, Little Hoot Plans, Brandy Plans with a bunch of S's, Let's Plan It Together by Mandy, Ilza Planned It, Planner Nina Cricket, Teresa B underscore plans, and Katie 17 plans. Um, you can find them on Instagram and I will be having this video and their videos in a playlist um, called Winter Collab Plan with me. So you guys can check that out so you can just wa like binge watch all of the Plan With Me's together. So that'll be fun. Um, we are also all going to be answering a um, planner tag that I wrote. <laughs> um, I actually wrote it years ago and then I went ahead and edited it. So it's basically like a newer version of that planner tag. So we're doing it do my Erin Condren Plan With Me because like I told you guys before, I'm about a week behind because I like to plan a week ahead in this planner. I'm a week behind. So I thought I would utilize this um, extra plan with me day to kind of get ahead on planning. So you're going to have this one and then there'll be another one on Tuesday that I'll show new releases and things like that in. So bonus plan with me, I guess. <laughs> so we have my silver bow. There's lots of silver in this kit. My winter kit is from winter um, is from planning in blue jeans. The kit name is winter flannel and the quote sticker says snuggle up. It's cold outside and it has been really cold outside. Going into this next week, I think we're supposed to be in the 50s, but it's been more in the 30s, and we had flurries on Friday. So, all right, so I have my silver bow, my igloo, my winter hat, my little snowman, January, stay cozy, snowball, and the snowflake bow, which has been so popular. This was a freebie a little while ago. Then I have my white winter wildflower, my little snow girl, the winter clip, and then I decided to go with this, um, blue pen loop it's kind of shiny and i just felt like it matched the brighter blues there so that's what i went with i think i have like four different blue pen loops and then i have my little penguin girl she's adorable and then i have um, my little teal snowflake here to use as well so we're going to go ahead and start off with date covers even though i didn't put the date dots down ahead of time so don't hate me it's fine um so the first it's 10 11 it's 11 questions because you know 10 is just not enough i don't know I told them that they could, I was like, feel free to like skip around. Like if you don't use washi tape, then the first tag is top three favorite places to buy washi. Maybe that doesn't apply to you. So, you know, then you wouldn't answer that one. So they may skip over some. Oh, and I said, feel free to add some too. Like if you have people asking you questions and you um, want to make sure that you answer those as well, um, then feel free to answer those. So it's a planner tag. I said, if you were new to planning to make sure to watch this video. So if you are new, welcome. To the planner community um this is a good way to see a lot of different styles of plan with me's in this collab i think we all plan well we don't all plan in different planners but we definitely have different planning styles we're going to be using different kits we just have a theme of winter so that's all i went with so first question of course um top three favorite places to buy washi tape um so i do like to buy them from the washi tape shop online um i'm also an affiliate for them so bonus. <laughs> um, so their link is always in my description, um, in my, um, the, my bio thing. Why did I grab this? I don't know. Cause I'm talking and planning at the same time. That's why. So there you go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. It's that blue, it's blue writing on silver glitter. So gorgeous. Why am I doing this? I'm supposed to put my headers down first. I'm like, let's start with date covers. Why would you do that? Why? You definitely need headers first. Like, what are you doing? Okay. I think I'm going to go with my old traditional way of planning. We're gonna do to-dos at the top, uh, most likely full box checklist, just to do a throwback, I guess, to how I used to plan. I don't have, well, I kinda just like, I got stuck in that way. So it's gonna look more like this one, probably. I don't know, probably. This one I did a little bit of variety. This one might be the same format as last week. I haven't decided. <laughs> Probably though, I'm not sure. Maybe I will mix it up with um, half boxes and full boxes here. How about that? We could do that. It might take some maneuvering, but I'm up for the challenge if you guys are. So the washi tape shop, and then um, I do get my washi tape at Michael's on occasion. You guys see me use Simply Gilded a lot, but I actually, I haven't purchased from Simply Gilded in a really long time. Um, and the, not on purpose, just haven't. Um, but I get my washi tape at Michael's. A lot of it's from there. Um, I do buy, I have found a few that I like 
at Hobby Lobby as well. So if you have one of those. Um, but yeah, so I guess those are my top three places to buy washi tape that I have access to in my town. So I feel like that varies based on where you live. You might have to buy washi tape all online. When washi tape first became a thing, a little history lesson, I know, shocker, from the history teacher, um, you couldn't buy it anywhere but online. <laughs> Craft stores hadn't really started selling it yet like they do now. Um, originally, I had to buy it from my local scrapbooking store. Um, the reason I didn't list them was because um, a lot of the time their prices are pretty high because it's a local store. Um, but, yes, I do have a couple of my favorite washi tapes are actually from them, too. Um, I had some, like, Carpe Diem washi and stuff and Simple Stories washi and Doodlebug designs. You can find those at scrapbook stores most of the time. So, yeah, I guess I have four then. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I added to it. It's fine. All right, question number two. We're already there. Can you believe it? Um, what is your favorite type of sticker? And then I put decorative or functional as the choices. Um, I would say decorative because I can definitely write in my functional stuff. I just choose not to. Um, I don't particularly care for my handwriting. I don't know if you're that kind of person, but I never really like got into perfecting my handwriting. I can write neatly if I try and focus and like I'm not trying to be in a hurry, but most of the time I am in a hurry. So it usually doesn't look so cute <laughs> or nice or tidy. <laughs> I want my, I want my handwriting nice and tidy. Um, <laughs> so yes, definitely decorative because I can write things down if I want to, instead of using stickers, but there you go. So question three, look at me just flying on through these while I'm doing my date covers. Love date covers. Also don't have to have, these are more of an extra than a decorative. Maybe they are decorative. They are decorative. I would call date covers decorative. Would you call date covers decorative? Just cause if they're not in a kit, I'm not like heartbroken. I mean, I feel like if I was doing um, an undated planner, like when I was doing the TN, I would definitely be like, oh, I really need date covers. Or at least I would have to put down date dots. So, and those don't necessarily have to match the kit. I have a ton of black and white date dots left over from other kits. I'll save them. If they're colored like this, usually I'll de-stash them because I'm like, the odds of those matching a kit that I happen to have are not good. But someone else may find a use for them. So I'll put them in my de-stash pile. So when you guys ask for... Um, leftover stickers in your orders then I put them in like that okay um number three what is your favorite planner and why Ooh, why did I write this <laughs> why well well I think my favorite planner is probably I know I'm planning in the Erin Condren right now but my favorite planner is I think I'm gonna go yeah this way I don't know I'm gonna try to color block with my headers I think that's what I'm gonna try to do my favorite planner is probably my happy planner, <laughs> which I think I've told you guys that before because, and I'll give a reason. It doesn't say why. Oh yeah, it does say why. <laughs> Look at me. Um, so my favorite planner is the happy planner because I can buy Erin Condren sticker kits and make them work. Um, I like the sticker books that the company puts out to go with them. Um, I like the fact that I can take the pages out and I don't have to finagle over a coil finagle that's a good word right yeah okay um <laughs> so i like that aspect of it um i like that you can change it i like that i have a punch and i can easily put things in and take things out and things like that so that's honestly the reason i like it the most um also i get to use washi tape because the boxes are bigger so i get to use even more washi tape <laughs> usually so yeah, I think that's why. I think that's why it's my favorite. And I've tried, I mean, and I'm talking classic Happy Planner, by the way, because I've tried a mini Happy Planner before. Um, and I, it wasn't, it was, I used it for memory planning. I didn't use it like a normal planner. Um, and then I've tried a lot of different ones. You can see there's playlists for all my old planners. If you want to watch a ton of plan with me, that's a way to do it. Okay. All right. So if we're going to do every other like I said, I might. Then I need my today headers and the glitter. So there's glitter on this one. And then she also included this one, which they're the same color. So I'll probably just save that back because I'm probably going to utilize this one more. I don't know. I don't know. And then I have, is there two weekend banners? There might be. Sometimes there's a little one. 
and a big one. There's a this week sticker. Yeah, there is a weekend banner that's smaller. There's this really pretty one, and then there's like a smaller one that's also pretty with like little snowflakes, but it's not as like washi tape. Okay, so we will be doing today and glitter headers alternately is what I'm gonna be end up doing. So I'm gonna grab my today. We will start off with quarter boxes or half boxes, I guess. I'll do half boxes and washi tape. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. We will see. Okay, and then the glitter header. Ooh, should I try to color block the glitter header? <laughs> I guess so. I guess we're gonna be like so detailed today. So detailed. And then I did grab some foil overlay, so we'll see if I remember to actually grab those when it's time. All right, and then I need a light blue today. Why aren't I using my tweezers? Because I was nervous about like making sure I grabbed the right one. That's why. We already know. Okay, should we see how this looks or just keep going? I feel like we should just keep going. Okay, so then we need glitter, the silver one. This one's going to be like a hodgepodge of different ones so far. That's fun. All good. I think it'll look really pretty when I'm all done, though. Okay, and then this one is that teal again. Yes, yes. Put that one down. And then I need the bright blue. We need that one. Okay, where was I? So, yeah, favorite planner, happy planner. Um, and then what are your favorite Etsy shops? So, I didn't put a number on that because I know that, like, <laughs> some people have a lot. Um, I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like when I order from a shop, I like to order several things. So then I end up like using the shop for like a while. Um, but some of my favorite shops, obviously planning blue jeans because <laughs> I'm using their sticker kit in this plan with me. Um, I'm a sticker addict, has some really wonderful kits as well, who I also have like a discount code for, but I don't like PR. I'm like a, I guess I'm a freelancer. I don't know. <laughs> you want to see it that way so um okay where's my full boxes i lost them i don't know why i'm talking like that sorry okay so then i need the full boxes and then i need half 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 these ones yeah not those there's half box checklist but that's not really the look i'm going for but i'm just showing you in case you wanted to know all right so i need half box i'm gonna go with Okay, so we're not going to color block these. That's for sure, I think. Okay, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's definitely seven. And I could do this one with the silver or this one with the silver, actually. And then this one's kind of dark. And then this one's kind of dark. What if we do that? Okay, I'm going to grab the darker ones. Stick those down. See how we do. Okay, so favorite Etsy shops. I have those two. Um, and then I also I'm gonna go with this one for the other darker one because it's got the darker like geometric patterns in it. Um, Temple Loves Crafts is definitely one of my faves. You guys have been seeing me use her stickers a lot. There's some shops that I'm not mentioning that I've just recently tried. Um, so I'm not gonna favorite them yet. I just tried them, so there's that. Um Sweet Kawhi Design is definitely um one of my top faves. I'm going to use this all silver one. Why am I doing this? Do you guys see what I'm doing? Okay. Yeah, I almost put that down. Oh, that would have been tragic. I'm just kidding. Okay. I need to focus on the todays and to-dos. Okay. That's what we're doing. Um, Let's see. For this one, I would want this one. So I'm going to pick this one for here. Oh, my gosh. That was so funny. Because you're talking and planning, and I decided to do this complicated way instead of going, I'm just going to plan like I always do. Yeah, that was me imitating myself. It's fine. And then we have this really light blue. So I guess I'll go with the silver for that one. I guess so. I was making sure I didn't put any half boxes on glitter spots. That would be ridiculous. Just so ridiculous. Okay. So... <laughs> I'm going to try to stick this back down real quick because I don't want to have it stuck to me for 10 minutes. Hopefully it won't take me this, like, 10 minutes. I was being sarcastic. Okay, focus. <laughs> All right, so then this one, I'm going to want this sticker here probably. Um, or else it's just all glitter, though. I don't want that. Okay, we'll do this one. 
because it's got silver snowflakes on it. I don't know why I'm using the tweezers. I don't like using tweezers on the bigger stickers. Um, other sweet quiet design is definitely a favorite. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anyone else that like off the top of my head I use all the time. All the time. I think that's it. I think those are my top right now. That's off the top of my head that I've used most recently. Okay, so then I want to use. I need a bright blue. Let's go with this one. For over here. I'm trying not to match the patterns. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to work out for me, but we shall see. Okay, there's a bright blue. And then this one's also a bright blue. So I think I'm going to go with this one. The snowflakes. Oh, and that's snowflakes, snowflakes. Um, okay. We'll use the other one. This one. This one that's like bright blue and silver. Just so it's not snowflakes and snowflakes. Okay, there you go on that one. And then I said I was gonna grab quarter boxes. Might have to shove some washi tape in there. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I need to go ahead and put down the next set of headers. So then let me grab these. So then the bright blue today. I went complicated on a collab plan with me. Why did I do that? Why? Okay, just bear with me. <laughs> so then the next one, what is your favorite planner accessory? So I'm going to say besides planner clips, because you guys know that's one of my favorite planner accessories and pen loops because I make both of those. Um, but planner charms, I definitely love as an accessory. Um, I don't know of any other planner accessories that I use. There are patches. I don't know if that's a planner accessory, but I usually stick that on my uh, happy planner cover that I now use on my teacher planner because I'm carrying it back and forth every day. So I guess that one, those two, I do like planner charms. Um, I don't really use the planner elastic bands to hold my planner shut anymore. I guess I feel like that was almost a fad. <laughs> like, I don't know if we really like even advertise those as much anymore. Okay, I didn't get to utilize this color at all yet. Okay, so do I go ahead and try to line it up this way, I guess? I guess. How do I know that's straight? <laughs> I don't, and I don't even feel like it is straight. Okay. I need to figure out what I'm going to do there. See, this is the problem with switching these boxes around. Is there's like, how do I make sure it's straight? Okay, I pulled that. We're gonna hope that's straight as possible. Okay, and I need the light, light blue. I haven't used that yet. I feel like this one's a little bit easier. I don't know. Okay. I hope so. And then we need that darker color. So yeah, those are some of my favorite accessories. And obviously planner pens. Does that count as an accessory? I don't know. Do you count pens as an accessory? <laughs> I feel like they're necessary, so they're not an accessory. That's just my opinion. All right, then I need the light, light blue. The next one is, um, what are your favorite pens? Okay, so if I am utilizing um, a Sweet Kawhi Designs kit or a Cricut Paper Co. kit where I need to have a special pen because they have vinyl paper, um, I've really been liking the Staples True Red Permanent. It's this, the True Red Permanent. It does come in other primary colors. I haven't purchased those. I've just grabbed the black ones. They're kind of square, <laughs> which is interesting, um, but they fit in my pen loops, <laughs> and I really like using them for that. Um, I've been trying out the Sharpie S Gel, and I really liked those. Um, you guys saw me do... Um, not an unboxing, what do you call that? A review. Let's go ahead and grab these. Um, I need a dark one for over here. Darker one for over here. There, that looks good. And then I need a light, light one for over here. If I do snowflakes, then I'm kind of pattern blocking. So, see, I'm, then there's snowflakes over here. I think I'm going to utilize this one. I'm going to utilize this one because it's got that light, light blue background. And then that way it's not on the same 
And then this one, I need a dark, dark one, which I don't have anymore. So we will see if I put silver there, that'll look funny. So I'm going to try to do a gray box. See why this didn't work for me? Oh, well. So I'm going to put this one here because it's blue. And then we'll do this plaid over here. I think that's my best bet. Yeah? Okay. I tried. <laughs> and then that'll be my theme sticker. So we'll stick that up in the corner when I'm ready. And then off boxes come back. So those are my favorite planner. And I've tried out the Crayola ones and the Papermate gel. Love those too, um, is what I've been using. And then Papermate Flare are good markers too, but not for like vinyl stickers. Okay, so I want to use... See, that's the same pattern. Okay, so we're gonna grab this one and stick it over here so that we have different patterns on each side. And then I will go ahead and grab the total silver round all the way around box for right here. I think that'll look good. And then we'll grab the blue snowflake one for over here. Yeah, so those are my pens. What is your favorite planning style? And then I put options of white space, no white space, or plan as you go. Because some people, they just, they fill it in as they go. Like, they do each column every day. Um, I've seen some plan with me's with that, where they kind of, like, fast forward. I guess they record a little bit every day. Um, I have not done that. <laughs> okay, so this one I feel like I need to mix up, or I'm going to have to keep going with it. I think I'm going to use the scallop ones. I feel like that would be my best bet for... Um, color blocking, but not really trying to pattern block. And then I can just throw these in the middle. So they're kind of floating. I like it. All right. I think this works for me. I think these will work for me for right now. So I hope you enjoy my mixing it up. All right. And then, so I am mostly no white space. Um, plan as you go. Um, I kind of do that if I'm in a memory plan in a planner. Um, but most of the time I've been doing that in my monthly, I do have one other planner that I said I might bring into plan with me. Clearly, you know, I haven't had that much time on my hands to do that. So <laughs> it hasn't happened. I haven't even unboxed it yet. So I need to do that if I'm going to utilize it. And now we're in the middle of January, but it's never too late to pick up another planner. Honestly, it's not. <laughs> There's been two times that I've switched out of a planner in my whole planning. This one's a little feels low um in my whole five six years of planning we're going into year six um of planning that's how many times i've ever switched out on that one okay i'm really liking the color blocking for the most part i feel like i nailed it but then there's somewhere i'm like this is clearly like silver but i tried with that box <laughs> this one was the one that was the struggle <laughs> for trying to do this so this is what i was talking about the weekend banner that's still in here um, and then those are squared up and patterned. And since I went with the patterned um, half boxes there, I didn't just, I just didn't want to do double patterns. All right, so now we need our bottom washi. We're going to use the kit one. I didn't use any extra washi. Who is this? Okay, so I'm going to grab this one for the left-hand side. All right, um, so yeah, mostly no white space. Occasionally I'll try to do white space, but then I end up filling it in. Um, number eight, what is your favorite thing about planning? shopping decorating or being organized i would say i'm gonna put it in order decorating shopping being organized because i love to decorate my planner oh there's a little bit of space here maybe i should put some washi tape down oh i know the perfect one i'm gonna put this snowflake one down that's what i'm gonna do okay this is gonna be a little hand bracelet for right now um i don't remember where this one is from i'm really sorry it might be from michael's I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. It's foiled and beautiful and it's got snowflakes on it. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to not care about the dots today just because whiting them out would be annoying with it being so close to the full box there. I should have whited them out ahead of time, but I kind of thought my washi would be wide enough, but she has the double stack where I could use the other one with it. It's, it's bows. It's gray with bows. So I'm not doing that, but I'm going to go with this one. I might put that up there. No, there's not enough room. I just looked up and I was like, no, don't even say it because there's not enough room. Um, so yeah, favorite thing about planning. And I do like shopping, but it's like, yeah, 
I can get kind of pricey. I'm not gonna lie. Even as a, um, I guess, planner accessory shop, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> it gets a little pricey. Okay, and I do have enough room to go all the way underneath it so that you can see that. I was like, I know I hadn't used washi at all. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I love washi tape. Washi tape goes on everything. <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, that's, and then staying, being organized. Oh my gosh. I'm always, I'm always reorganizing. They say that like, it's a hobby in itself to like organize, organize your craft stuff. Right. So it's a hobby in yourself to like organize your sticker stuff. Like I just ordered those and I got them, the new sticker books, well, new to me, um, from Cricut Paper Co. And I haven't reorganized my sticker books in them yet or my stickers in them yet. I really want to go through my stickers and pick out the ones that I actually use and kind of donate or de not donate, but de stash. <laughs> I don't know why I said donate. We're in the decluttering phase of my life. I don't know. <laughs> um, and put those in the de stash pile because I'm just, I haven't used them. So I'm working on that. I need to organize more. Number nine is what is your favorite planner goodie? And then I list some. So then I force them to choose because I'm mean. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this one down as my theme sticker. We're gonna be building up the sidebar now. Um, so it says stickers, washi. Um, let's go with that line right there, I think. And puts it right underneath. Okay. I really like being able to see the month and the year. I know it cuts off the J a little bit, and I'm okay with that because if I go down too low, then you get the other line. So then I don't want that. Okay. Um, there is a this week sticker. I thought we would utilize that. I say that word a lot. <laughs> Let's use this. It looks like all one big sticker. <laughs> it will. All right. And then I want to put checklist sticker. Do I not have any more full box checklists? This always happens to me. Oh, good grief. Okay. So we're going to have to use... Can I lay this on top of there? No, probably not. We'll just build my own. We'll just build my own. We'll just build our own. Okay, so I'm going to use the gray, I guess, to match the header. I usually just build my own in this case. <laughs> I just stack these on top of each other. I was like, oh, because she, she gives two Monday through Sundays, so that's why there's not another um, full box checklist. In case you're like, what happened? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't. All right, I'm going to grab, there's no like order sticker. So I'm going to grab a header. Um, we'll go with the one that matches the full box I'm going to be using. Why aren't I using my tweezers? Okay, um, so it's stickers, washi, page flags, sticky notes. What's your favorite planner goodie out of those? Um, kind of has to be stickers, I guess. Um, I'm going to rank them. <laughs> so stickers, then washi. And then sticky notes and then page flags. I don't really use page flags. I remember the hype around collecting them from Target Dollar Spot and then realizing that I have a bunch of sticky notes that are cute but and are cute in a planner setup, like in a pocket, um, but are not actually really sticky. So I was done buying those. I like was like, why are you doing this? Don't do this. That's it, They don't even stick. They tear when you pull them and stuff like that. Um, so that was always a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I like sticky notes. I like it when shops use brand name sticky notes, like the Bic sticky notes. Those actually stick and they are cute. Um, so I do like it when shops do that. All right, habit tracker time. Here's some. There's two. Okay, we'll put down this one. And then I'll scrounge up some washi tape probably. And then put down the other one. Probably should have done vice versa. Oh, well. Well, that's a little darker. It's fine. And then that was number nine. Number 10 says, what, ooh, what sticker paper do you prefer? Oh, I would love to hear your guys' opinion. Why didn't I get washi tape first? Um, should I put snowman? I did grab some more other washi tapes, but I'm wondering how much width I have. Not very much. Maybe I should just go with this. If I go with this, it goes right there. Okay. We'll just go with this. Okay, um, so it says, what sticker paper do you prefer? And then I put matte, vinyl, or glossy. There's also, like, another paper out there that's, like, the unicorn paper or something. 
Um, this one is more like unicorn paper, but like a matte. Um, I don't particularly like glossy. Um, I've used it before. A lot of people complain of like the squeaking um, or the ink smearing because it doesn't absorb quickly enough. When I'm ordering stickers, I usually pick matte. I don't mind vinyl, but it is kind of a hassle to make sure I have the right pen. Um, especially when I'm using the Sweet Kawaii design kits that have like a freestanding checklist because I don't want to use this type of pen on my planner paper. It bleeds through. So then I have to have two pens for one planner spread just because I don't want to ruin my paper, but I want to be able to write on the stickers that you're supposed to write on. So then that gets kind of out of hand. So there's my spread. Let's add my functionals. So I plan in this planner. I'm supposed to plan this planner on Sundays. We're going to cover up a little bit of the gap that I had there. And then payday for Etsy is on Tuesday, so we'll put that in. Um, I need to do spread picks on Mondays and Sundays. At least try. Um, listings. I'll just grab one of the computers. I work on listings on Tuesdays. And then, let's see. Planning some more on Wednesdays for sure. Um, working a lot in the office on Thursdays to work on orders to get at least some out by Friday. And then none of these other ones really apply to this planner. So I don't usually use them. And then that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. I'm going to grab this weekend banner. This one's done too. So you have a bunch of half box checklists and full box checklists. More Monday through Sunday, but freestanding. And then some headers. Um, I'm going to grab this really beautiful weekend banner. It's just a little smaller, but still beautiful. So I'm going to stick it right on that bottom washi. Yes, just like that. Looks great. All right, and then you have other headers and littles over here too. Um, I don't usually, I guess I could use the camera for listing photos. Put that there. And then oh, there's a chiropractor appointment or physical therapy. It could be either one. Presents, computers, mailing, planner, no. And then there's appointments, working, some more quarter boxes and bill dues. And I don't use those either. All right. I was going to grab my functionals, but I'm not sure what I did with those. And I forgot to add the foiling like I said I would. Okay. These are already really sparkly. But do they look better if you add this too? Is that a thing? Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, that's glamorous. That's just straight up glamorous. Is it going to tear my sticker? Yeah, it is. If I pull it up. Okay, we'll just put that down. All right, grab the tweezers so I can do a better job. <laughs> the foiling sheets that I have are from I'm a Sticker Addict on Etsy. Just hit the mic with my tweezers just a little bit. Okay, probably not going to be able to see this one. It's already silver. But I realized I was like, oh, yeah, you were supposed to add foiling. All right, did I answer all the questions? Probably not. <clears throat> all right, um, yeah. So preferably matte than the others. And then 11 was open-ended. I said advice for new planner girl. Um, don't overspend. <laughs> Buy the basics um, is what I always say. And then kind of like watch planner videos like this or look at other planner spreads to kind of see what's your style. Um, I think it takes time and also every year it's kind of like you want to reevaluate how you plan and what you're tracking and what you're finding important um, and things like that. So um, if like all of a sudden I was really good at remembering to post on Twitter, I would stop putting the habit tracker for Twitter. But some of it is a little bit of memory keeping and some of it is a little bit of I'm trying to remember. I kind of started weird. I started over here just to see how it would look. I feel like this is only going to matter to me because it's going to look different in the photos. I'm not sure how well you can see it in the photos is what I'm trying to say. This one's like the cracked foiling, I think. But I was like, with all this silver, I thought this would look pretty. And I like it. Okay, and then I also have... Some of these, I thought this was the same, but then I was like, no, it's not. This one's silver, and this one's like the cracked foiling. So I thought I would add this at least to some of them. I don't know. Does that matter? I don't know if I should now. 
Did I do that? Because I can't add it to all of them. There's five. I should really wait. I'll wait until I have like seven of something. I think it looks fine. I think it does. Oh, there are some more functionals I didn't look at. YouTube bench laundry to do. Planner, trash can. Oh, there's a trash can. We do a trash for the shop on Wednesdays. There you go. And then I don't think I grabbed my sticker pocket that has my functionals in it for this planner. Did I? Um, nope, that's for the happy planner. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Is that the one I want? Maybe. No, I don't think it is. Oh, that might be it right there. Because <laughs> I left it out because I was still planning. That's what happened. I'm a messy planner girl. Okay, that's for Washi Wednesday. I'm not going to worry about that. I already put um, stickers down for this. So maybe I'll do that. <laughs> All right, so full spread is supposed to be on Sundays. And then midweek, I have been terrible at. But we can put the sticker down. <laughs> kind of how I've been seeing it. <laughs> All right, and then I already did payday. Um, post office. I always go to the post office on Saturdays, usually on Fridays too, but I'm not usually checking my PO box. Those are done. Don't need that. Don't need that right now. No, I have a different sticker for that. All right. New releases sticker. So, um, stick to the basics. Um, I wouldn't really suggest buying a super expensive planner for your first planner. Um, don't be upset about um not don't need that not filling it in like say you uh, miss a week or something um try to memory plan or something it does kind of make you feel um accomplished for the week so even if you know you've already done something putting it down and checking it off um can make you feel a little different i think oh that's supposed to be new releases okay we'll put this down here has already peeled it up <laughs> it's fine so and then that will also help you develop a habit of writing in your planner so because there's occasions where obviously I get a little busy and I don't end up writing in it the day of so I'm writing in what I've already done but then you know what you've done and you feel accomplished and things like that and a lot of people have said that um, it can help with like memory problems and things like that so you know just use it for what you want to use it for um and then i'm out of twitter stickers i'm actually gonna have to write the word twitter oh no <laughs> and then i have this week's orders this one is from pomegranate sticker co okay and then i have film stickers so i'm filming i'm actually filming on a weird day filming on a saturday i film on sundays and then i film on tuesdays and wednesdays is usually when i'm filming now I've kind of skipped Mondays, so changing it up is what we've been doing. I'm going to need some more filming stickers soon. I don't know. Maybe I bought two sheets of these. <laughs> Occasionally, I do that, but see, I would rather use stickers than my own handwriting for sure. <laughs> That's just the way I am. Okay, let's grab one of those. I um, wonder if this one would be a good color for this spread or... If I should stick with my paper me or if this color would be good for this spread i think that would be a good color for this spread these are the crayola take note one so let's write the word twitter and see if i like it twitter oh i like it <laughs> it didn't take long did it see i didn't write very neatly i just didn't <laughs> so before the pen i'm trying out the pen yeah i like this pen it really matches that dark teal color this is part of the Crayola Take Note ones. They're 0.7, so I like them. 0.5 is just a little skinny for me. This one was the 0.5, and I've been trying it out, and I'm like, it's just so skinny. I don't know. I feel like pe most people are probably like, who notices these things? So, yeah, buy um, buy some kits if you want to. I would suggest not buying full kits just yet um, until you really find your planning style. I would plan with some mini kits and then see what you really are like. I want more of this or something like that then you'll be able to see what you want from a planner or sticker kit, um, if that makes any sense at all. But yes, planning has definitely helped me stay organized and um, grow my business, keep my home organized, 
um, watch my spending, watch my eating out. So it's anything you're wanting to work on, I feel like, um, is what you need to plan. Or anything you want to feel accomplished about is a good reason to plan. I have way too many paper clips to go in this red. This is what is happening to me right now. I like the flower. I'm going with it. All right, we need the winter hat because it's a whole winter flannel spread. Okay, so I guess that's all I've got. I've got Snowbell and the Igloo. And the snowman, I went ahead and did the penguin because I just thought it was so cute. And I already have the snowman. And then I didn't end up going with this snowflake because I felt like this blue matched better. I didn't have room for this. Oop. Um, and then this has purple in it, so it's okay. So I didn't, I really like this one too though. You never know what my clips get switched out to anyways by the end of the week. So we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Um, I will put the questions in the description box below. So you feel free to answer them in the comments. That would be fun to see and read and respond, I think. Um, but yeah, so that is the planner tag for this collab video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like. Uh, make sure that you've subscribed, especially if you're new and you're coming from somebody else's channel. So nice to meet you. Thank you <laughs> for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.